everybody it's alpha pickle uh, hopefully everyone is doing good today i was just crafting an empowered diamond crystal block and the reason for that is because we are going to make something called the uh, spawner changer although we do not have this so let me grab four magma cream real quick all right there we go we should be able to craft this now and this thing's pretty cool we're about to go use it it takes four magma cream the empowered diamond block and then four spawner shards which you just get from breaking mob spawners with a pickaxe and then we're gonna head back over here and right here we are gonna craft cardboard boxes so if you're playing modded and you happen to have a mechanism in here or there's one other way I have been using but to move mob spawners so like actually pick them up and move them without having to like remake them basically you can use something called a cardboard bot. Super cheap to make. Just take sawdust, which you get from putting wood in the sawmill in the thermal expansion machine we got downstairs. There's a couple other ways to do it otherwise. And basically, you can pick up any item, including like chess. So you just right click it, it'll put it on there, and now I can mine it. And we got a bot of whatever is in there. And now I can place it back down. And then you just shift right click on it again. And voila, keeps all its inventory. So that does work with mob spawners as well. So let's head down here. And I believe, okay, here's my moving wand. This is another way. Um, I don't know where we got this, honestly. You can make one pretty easily. So I picked up a skeleton spawner, I believe. So there you go. You can just right click it, pick it back up, and then place it if you want. So that's one way to move them. And then again, we have the storage bot or the cardboard bots. And let me just show you again. It does work for spawners. It keeps the same mob. So now it's skeleton. So let me pick this back up. And this is something I made off camera on my stream. So if you miss that and are interested, well, too bad. But you should check out my Twitch stream. I'll put out put it on the screen and I'll leave a link in the description and if you're wondering when I stream I don't really have a specific time sadly but if you follow my Twitter which is also going to be in the description you can get notifications because I put a notification on there when I go live so let's just place this guy before I kill us so now I got a skeleton spawner placed right there and I am about to get us killed so as you can see, this is a big open room, um, big ceiling right here. The reason I made it so large is because I want to be able to just place a ton of mob spawners right here without having to make separate farms. So we can just throw any mob we want in here and it should work with the way we have it designed. And let me get out here and show you real quick. So there's the skeletons. As you can see, they died pretty quick. Here come the blaze. Same thing. They die pretty quick and we have an that will turn the fans off, which is what was pushing us into that, which was quite uh, annoying. So we can go in here now. And then in the middle, we just got these spikes. Right now, I just got four of them. Because if anything touches the side of them or the top, as we know from before on the other farm, it does damage. So we can just push them right into it. Pretty simple. Those fans are really cheap to make. And let's just turn it back on and voila. Real quick, efficient. And then we also got lights, which is just lava right now because that's the only way it'll really turn off the blaze spawner. So, but yeah, it, I sat and let it run for a few hours and we got quite a bit of blaze rods. We also got a blaze trophy and yeah, we can put any mob in here we want. So I think next up, we are going to go get us a wither skeleton one if we can, which I think we can. So I'll meet you in the nether. Okay, here we are in the nether. Hopefully I remember how to use this spawner changer, but if I remember correctly, you right click the mob you want. So we just captured a wither skeleton and then we just need a spawner to take. Do we have a blaze one here? Nope, we stole that one. We should have one over here then, yeah. So if I remember right, we can just right click this and there we go. Now we got a wither skeleton spawner. So that should spawn wither skeletons. Might have to be dark. Oh well, let's pick it up and head back. So here we are, I just placed the wither skeleton spawner in there. As you can see, we did get a wither skeleton, so it does work. I don't know if there's any way to kill them in this pack to get looting effect. So if you guys know of a machine that has a looting effect, let me know. Because in the last pack I played there was, but it is not in this one. Because the only thing you get when you type in looting is the enchantment books. So. But that is okay, it should run decently. 
you do have to be a certain range within spawners, but I planned on upgrading it with these cool things. Where are they at? Let's type in spawner one more time. I'll show you guys these. Called a uh, spawner agitator. So it says what it does right there. It basically makes it so you don't have to be within range and it works. So that will be nice later on. Anyways, this episode we are going to start with some, you guessed it, ME, Applied Energistics. AE networks whatever you want to call it so went ahead and made a meteorite compass just like that pretty cheap to make and this will point you towards a meteorite we're gonna go and get all four of the presses real quick which you find I think one per here's the four of them one two three and four that's what we want uh, I think you find one per meteorite maybe more than that but I, I know you find at least one so I'm gonna go find those and I will be back once I get those here's number one mine down we got the logic press and number two. Oh, so you can find more than one look at that logic calculation and silicone and we're back at the house I actually did not find the last one the engineering one but I looked and in this pack it looks like you can actually craft all the presses so we're just gonna craft the last one because we got plenty of diamonds so it looks like you can just compact that and we will get the engineering one which I think is the only one we are missing next up we want to make the inscriber which we are going to need fluids crystals and to make that fluids crystal you need redstone charge certus quartz and nether quartz and you just throw it in some water it's kind of a weird crafting recipe and as you'll see it's just turning into the fluids crystal so there we go we got quite a bit already let's let's craft the inscriber this thing is going to need power we're just going to throw it down right here for now and that is how we can make our presses and normally i would make probably the 1k or the 4k storage cells to start but from a quest reward or something we do have two of the 64k storage cells from applied energy sticks already so that's real nice so next up i think we are going to want to make a storage drive First, before we can make the storage drive, we are going to need some of the diamond logic circuits. So we need to put the silicon press in, throw some silicon in there, and you'll see it start working. We're going to need two of these, actually. The nets, I believe the one we are going to need is engineering, which hopefully is done. Yep, there it is in our compressor. So we're going to throw that with some diamonds in there. And that's number two. Then we combine those printed engineering circuits, the diamond one, and the silicon with redstone. And last but not least, you will have the engineering processor, which is, I believe, the highest tier one. Don't quote me on that, but that is what we need for the ME drive. Next up, we're going to want to make the cables from ME. These are going to be the basic ones. It's going to take the quartz fiber ones, which are made with three quartz dust and glass around them. And then it's going to take two fluid crystals. And there you go. You get the beginning glass cables. And there we go. We got our first ME drive, which ho holds the basically storage cells, the memory cards. It holds, I think, 10 of them per. And we got two, so that'll be fine. We do need something called an energy acceptor. I believe we will eventually either way but this basically converts the RF energy that we're already generating for everything else to the AE energy and to make this we are going to need some quartz glass which is just made with either quartz dust or certus quartz dust for glass just like that and we'll get four of them and then just that stuff which we are missing for iron thought I had it there we go, now we got one. So we should actually, I believe, be able to go ahead and place this down. So if you put this like on that, it should get power, and that will convert it to our AE power, if I'm not mistaken. Let's try it. I do, however, need three more of these gold logic circuits. So again, just throw the gold in. This one will make the gold logic right there. And you can combine that with the silicone one and the redstone. So you basically throw silicone with the silicone press in there and that'll give you the silicone little printed thing. And then you throw that with this printed logic circuit and a piece of redstone in to make the gold one. So I'm going to go ahead and craft those. Okay, so I went ahead and crafted the ME terminal. It's a bit of a pain to craft, but it's not too bad. 
just takes a few things and we can attach that to a cable just like that for instance and that's how we access our me network so now we got the storage drive right there we can put the other one in there if we want and we can literally throw anything we want to in there pretty cool it's a very 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 good storage system and we can do a ton of things with this the reason i wanted to at least get it started today in this episode is because i wanted to automate some of the ingots for thermal expansion like the enderium and signalum i think the other one's called and those ones just are a real pain in the butt because they take a liquid bucket plus a few other things just to craft them so I think ME will be the best way to work with that because it has a lot of cool tools for auto crafting stuff. So it should make it easier. And you can make, whoa, that's not the one I was looking for. There we go. That one's the fluid one. I don't know that we'll need that one. But we can make a wireless terminal too eventually, which we can basically access all our storage with that. So in between this episode and next one, I am probably going to... Uh, get some more of this set up I might move it upstairs these things are really easy to move because if we take this out it still holds all the data on there so everything we had in there is on this card so we can move the whole network very easily that's why I wasn't worried about placing it down here and then hopefully we can get it set up upstairs and I might work on the house a little bit next episode to the actual house I know it's been forever maybe put a second floor and a roof on it eventually I got these cool trophies. I haven't tried to blaze one out. I'm kind of scared. It might might make lava. Nope, just burned us. This one I know does water. Just puts a free source of water. But anyways, don't forget to check out the Twitch stream and the Twitter to basically get notifications when I stream I didn't do a ton this episode I just wanted to show off some of the progress I have made in between next episode we should get a lot more done on the AE network so it should be a sighting in between on the in between the episodes on the stream I did do a lot of mining too our barrels are already full with redstone right there as you can see so it kind of clogged up the system so I just threw a chest down right here but everything else went in here no problem got smelted all that good stuff so it worked out pretty well got 15 stacks of copper look at that six stacks of gold not much iron because i use it faster than i can get it but anyways thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye bye